mom's gonna kill me. <laughs> I don't know what to tell my mom. She's like, you can't jump off roofs anymore. Like, I'm not jumping off the roof, but <laughs> I'm, cars. I'm hanging out of a car. <laughs> Where are you from originally? Massachusetts, uh, Cape Cod. This, this part of Massachusetts is three brothers. Me, my brother Staff, who's out here in LA with me. I'm in the middle, he's younger. He's 29, I'm 31, Josh is. Oh no, is he 30 now? So that's 30. No. Yeah? He's 30. Wow, that's weird. My older brother's 32. He's a master of this. He's, he's like the man of the family. He's got like a kid and a house and a wife and, a, and his hair and a square chin. He's like manly. He builds things, fixes things. We're all pretty nuts. Like we all have the same like weird sense of humor. Like we grew up watching Ryan and Stimpy and that was kind of like an influence on us. It just it makes us just kind of bananas, I guess. My mom is really goofy. She's always like saying crazy stuff and like we get it from her. We just gotta make sure that like my head doesn't like smash the window or the door, you know. I mean, I don't, I'm more concerned about but denting your door. We all are. Okay. Because <laughs> like, I don't think I'll really <laughs> This is probably the most dangerous one. It's the most controlled. Uh, after we hit. Now, I've gotten hurt more by myself than I have like other things. My arms have gone numb on me before. I do the same, it wasn't even a video. It was like, me and my brother were at some ice cream place, me and my brother and my friends and we, uh, there was a sign there and I ran and I jumped and grabbed on the sign so I could like spin around in this position, you know? And right when I grabbed the sign, my arms like went numb. I pinched a nerve or something and my arms went limp and I just dropped on the ground. I was like, what the heck happened? My arms were like kind of paralyzed. I was like, well, I couldn't move my arms. I was freaking out. And then it started like hurting and hurting really bad. I was felt like pins and needles like all over. I was like, what's happening? And then I went to the chiropractor the next morning and he adjusted me when like right when he adjusted me I felt like a rush of warm like blood going through my arms. It felt so good, it was so relieving. I drove into that car did it this morning, like and it hurts, but like in the moment it just doesn't I don't know, you just like eh, I'm ready for this and you just like take it and then you just don't even feel it. So falling a lot in skateboarding, like twisting your ankle and like really in your tailbone, like I've hit my tailbone so many times skating, like falling downstairs and stuff and on rails or whatever. But now I just I don't know, I think it's prepared me for like, oh, well that, that's, that hurts, it's just falling on me in this video, it's nothing. So me and my brother and my friends, uh, for like years, we were living in San Mark for like six years, and this Playboy's right down the street. We've had this joke where we're like, oh, at night we'll sneak into the dumpster behind the Playboy and get all the free Playboys. <laughs> and as like a joke for like 15, you know, like a 15 year old mentality, like, oh, nice, like that's what a kid would, that's a kid's dream. So the other night we actually went and we're like, all right, let's go do it, let's check the dumpster. We've ridden by before, I've never seen anything on top, but like, we're like, all right, we'll go dig in and see if we can find like the mother load. And we go in there, and my brother Seth finds this thing in here. We got two, two different copies of this, confidential phone list for working playmates. Please dispose by shredding. Well, someone didn't do that. If you weren't doing this today, what do you think you'd be doing? Uh, I might be digging graves in Massachusetts. That was my last job before I moved out here, was digging graves, so I might be doing that. So, oh, I'm glad I'm out here. I'm glad I, I worked there to then save my money to then leave and get out of that. But uh, I was driving a dump truck and digging graves. Always been a gamer or? Yeah, I've always played video games. Um, well, I, the first video game system I had was an Atari 2600. We got that in the 80s, my dad got it for us. I never had Nintendo, surprisingly. I just had Atari and then we went to Sega Genesis. There's only 19 of those in English speaking countries and 25 in the world. That's F0. Um, that is kind of rare and it's $1,600 and I have one. So it's pretty awesome to say that I have one of the only FC or arcade, arcade cabinets in the world. So hard to resist, I couldn't not get it. <laughs> that game, F Zero, is awesome because the seat moves side to side when you're going and the graphics are good. It's like GameCube graphics. Sega. Sega and Neo Geo, my two favorite video game companies. They're like the bad boys of the video game world. They got like the aggressive games and the aggressive attitude. That guy right there, Sonic the Hedgehog, he's the voice of the 90s, in my opinion. This guy right there. I love him. I've always danced, but I never thought of it like a thing to do in videos. They just like going dancing. Like me and my brother Seth would go to 80s night a lot in Providence when we lived back in Massachusetts. And I had this idea before for a video for I was gonna do it to a Madonna song. It was just me in different locations dancing in different places. So me and my friend Paul did it for this chip contest. That was the first dance video, and we ended up winning that chip contest. We won 10,000 bucks, and it got like a million views. I used my friend's song, I used Phantom Inc. This kid who makes like really good chip tune music. He makes all the music for my Keith Abercary songs. So we used that 
And uh, that was the first one. And then from there, I just kept going and now I just do dance videos and it's like this whole other thing I do. But I try to like space those out. I don't want people to think I'm this dancing guy. Cause a lot of people, they get the most views on all my videos cause they're easy to spread around and like, you know, it's universal with music and stuff. So people think I'm just this dancing guy, but I want to be like, no, that's just this one little thing I do for fun. I, my characters, my acting are the things I really want to do. Hey, hey it's me, Trey Luaus. Eating has been around since the medieval times. And colors has been around since the 1950s. If the 1950s and medieval times had a baby, it would have been a bag of Skittles. Skittles came about because I had I had done a, I was in a Butterfingers little like web promo my friend Paul directed and uh, then Butterfingers knew who I was so I was like oh, I had these ideas for this little like really bad commercials for this spokesperson like the world's worst spokesperson for a candy I was like okay I'll go down to this wall and I'll start rambling I did these like this slew of 30 second spots for Butterfingers and uh, they were pretty funny and they liked them they featured them on their Yahoo video page and uh, I was like oh that's cool but. It wasn't working for me with Butterfingers because I didn't think it was like the right, the comedy wasn't like matching the product in my mind. And all the Skittles commercials I'd ever seen were always crazy. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna target Skittles. I think I might get a response from them. So I just, for two or three years, I just kept making these really, really bad Skittles commercials by this, by Trey Luaus, the world's worst spokesperson. That's why use Skittles for art. Then when you're done, just eat them. I thought it was funny having this guy making ads for candy that didn't need extra ads because like they had it handled. So I just kept making them and they got popular online and then they started seeing them and I heard that people in the company were st pronouncing it like that, Skittles, like how I pronounce it in the things. The, that spokesperson can't even say the name rights and then the fact that the company is now saying it like that, I was like, oh, that's awesome. So. They had a contest for this vending machine and I won the contest in character because like I had like a lot of votes because people like obviously like the character. So that got their attention. They were like, then I heard from them that they said they were glad I had won because they, they were home. They were hoping I would enter because they were fans. So I was like, oh, that's awesome. And they sent me this boom box. <laughs> And I did this video for, with the boom box that they weren't expecting. And at that point, and it got a lot of views and they're like, okay, this guy's like making all this awesome content. We need to like make him the spokesperson. So now I'm the Skittles spokesperson. Skittles for like, for life. I have so many bags of Skittles all in here in the bottom. That's a, this is a Japanese Neo Geo. It's a, it's a candy cab is what they're called. You can just, I have like 138 games on here. My favorite game on the Neo Geo is Mark of the Wolves, which is a 2D fighter. It's like Street Fighter, but it's like the Neo Geo characters. I had a little tournament with me and some other kid in Massachusetts on this game, and I beat him. <laughs> and he won one, I won one, and then the last match, I, I just beat him, so. Oh! <laughs> Edit that out, I lost. <laughs> So I wrote this in this pavement a, a couple, like a year ago, I think. This is, I wrote this when we were in development with Comedy Central in this building for Keith Abacary. And they, they did this and I, so I wrote it as a reminder. So every morning if they were walking in, they'd be like, oh yeah, Keith Abacary, we gotta pick up his TV show. This is awesome. That's the first time I've seen this. I'm gonna tell this girl, it's me. Hey, this is me. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Wow, okay, you can see um, there's like pictures and stuff in here. Look at that! This is so freaking weird! This is the first time I've seen this. I was walking around at 7.30 this morning looking, <laughs> looking for a copy of this. And then I finally just saw it now as we're walking the restaurant. Oh, this is awesome. I gotta take like all these. God, this is crazy. That's me. <laughs> Nobody cares. Do you realize this is a big day for me? That's me. It is? Yeah. Wow. Pretty crazy, huh? Famous, huh? I know. He doesn't know who I am. Did you? Meeting the cover. Isn't that crazy? I, I just saw it for the first time. 
Uh, let me show you. <laughs> me jumping off my roof. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. I'm a little bit taken back right now. My photographer is coming over. So, since he was coming to shoot, I was like, well, I want this to be like like some good photos instead of just me just like standing there and like doing boring pictures. Because so I knew they were going to take a couple pictures of other people. I was like, why well, don't I just do lame pictures? So, I rented the bouncy house since I rent them all the time anyways. And I just jumped off the roof like 30 times. <laughs> and he had like this light. He was over there in the parking lot like trying to get these like perfect shots. And it worked out because I got a huge picture of it. So, I was happy.